Julian? Julian? Has anyone seen Julian? Where are you? Hey, Dad, what's up? I told you never to call me that in public. Sir, Where yes, her? sir. What happened last night? I was at the club, just with some friends. Dad, I got something to tell you. What now, Julian? Some cop here. He arrested me last night. What? You got arrested? Drunk and drunk and disorderly. Julian, I just don't understand you. All you you and your generation, all you guys care about is partying and having fun. When I was your age, I would never let any of this happen. This is the last time I help you get out of your messes. I need to go call my lawyer, George. I didn't see you. I'm so immersed in my work. Oh, George, it's so good how to see you again. It's great to see you. Oh, my God. How have you been? I saw that you just won those three Medal of Honors. I oh, mean, I mean, well, it really was just, I work with such great people. They make my job so easy. It's just a reflection of their hard work. But you, I see that you have risen in the ranks since the last time I saw you. You went from a lowly public defender to a major partner in this law firm? Well... I am extremely busy. I mean, writing contracts, memorizing legal documents. <laughs> and and what is it that I hear about your pay? It's great. It is awesome. I have to say, that's probably my favorite thing about the job. <laughs> Excuse me? I just need to know how you're going to help me out in this situation. I mean, I am young. I'm wild with the phrase. I require the best of the best. I got my whole, my whole life ahead of me. Julian, so, we are very lucky to have... George's help. Please, be quiet. Now, Julian, I am extremely good at my job, but in order for me to help you, you're going to need to tell me exactly what happened. Well. Girlfriend. You got a boyfriend? You want to go, man? You yeah, go? I want to go. That's you my girlfriend. Go? You like Paul? Come on. Yeah, time. I want to go. <gasps> Boom. Seriously, Julian, you got knocked out with one punch. You were a disgrace to the family name. Calm down, everyone. I mean, in my many years at law school, I learned one thing and one thing only. Arguing solves nothing. Now, I think I'm going to get you out of this mess. I think I can get a plea bargain. But you are going to have to promise me that you will not partake in any more fights or you will get kicked out of the army. What? That's my main of the ladies, man. Seriously, Julian, focus on the issue at hand. George, can you please talk to the police and let us know what they say? Yeah. I know you're a very busy man, though, so. Well, I mean, I am a very busy man, so it will take a couple days, but I can talk to them. Okay, thank you so much. We'll be on our way. Hello, George. Hope I'm not interrupting Hello. anything. Hello, Alan and Julian. I have been busily working, and Julian, I have some great news for you. The plea bargain was accepted. The man you fought had to drop his charges because, according to him, you were so weak that you actually did no damage to him, so his case has no merit. Do you guys think my curl's impressed enough? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, th George, yep, th thank you. Julian, I am so disappointed in you. Not because of what you did, but what you've just become. You you have no drive, no ambition, nothing. Look at George. He has become a successful lawyer, and he is very happy with what he does. And look at me. You have my you, you have my blood in you, and you still don't care. You don't do anything. I am worried about this country when it's left to people like you when me and George are gone. You're right, Dad. You're right. I will never be like you. I'm gonna try, though. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try.
Hello there, I'm George, the surgeon at the law, or in modern times, a lawyer. I'm a very successful and wise lawyer. My wisdom, shown through my glasses, and my success, shown through my suit. I was not always such a powerful lawyer, but through hard work, I moved up the social classes to upper middle class. In Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, I represent how at this time in England, it was becoming more acceptable to move up and down the social classes. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm the Julian the Squire, and in modern day, I'm a cadet in the army. However, I'm not really interested in chivalry. I'm more interested in partying and girls. My youth is represented through my curly hair, and my disinterest in my nightship is represented by my preppy clothes that don't look like anything to be worn in the army. Um, Chaucer wishes me to represent the decline of chivalry. There, I'm Alan the Knight, or in this modern depiction of the Canterbury Tales, a general. You can tell about my character through my plain attire, which shows I am humble, and the stars on my shirt, which show I am a high-ranking official in the army, or a general. Chaucer describes me as the epitome of chivalry in his Canterbury Tales. 